بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر اسد عباس دس لیکچر کمپرائز آف ٹو پارٹس ان پارٹ ون وی ول سی سم فاؤنڈیشنل کانسیپٹ ریلیٹڈ ٹو سافٹ ویئر کوالٹی ماڈلس اینڈ دا انڈر لائنگ فلاسفیز وی ول آلسو ڈسکس ون فیمس کوالٹی ماڈل that is uh, the McCall's model here. Whereas uh, in part two, we will uh, discuss some other quality models such as Bohem's model, ISO 9126 and FERPS. To understand the concept of software quality, it is important to answer a frequently asked question. That is, what is quality? In fact, there are several definitions of quality and they all are correct in uh, different situations and in different scenarios. For example, according to one general definition, quality is a conformance to specifications. That is, uh, the product's measurable characteristics uh, satisfy a set of fixed specifications and then uh, meeting the customer needs. That is, quality is defined as, uh, uh, um, like, uh, as uh, if the product uh, meets the needs of the customers, then it is a quality product. However, uh, such general definitions of quality are not uh, sufficient in practice. Therefore, uh, software quality is described by specific quality models. So, what are quality models? Software quality models are, uh, in fact, one of the uh, best means to support the software quality management system. A quality model is mostly stated as a set of uh, characteristics like uh, undocument clarity, design traceability, integrity, program reliability, testing uh, integrity, and uh, relationships among them uh, that truly provide the foundation for identifying the requirements of quality and determining the quality. It can be identified as a, a defined set of properties that are uh, uh, required for a product to meet the stated purposes. Generally, the quality models for software systems are categorized into two categories. That is quality definition models and quality improvement models. The quality definition models, uh, as the name suggests, contain the characteristics that are important for a product, such as reliability, security, efficiency, maintainability, extra whereas uh, on the other hand uh, quality improvement models provide the guidelines that help software organizations improve their development uh, processes that uh, eventually uh, uh, helps in improving the quality of the software products or systems that are uh, developed by following the guidelines of these models uh, the examples of these models uh, uh, include capability maturity model, which is also called as CMM and uh, uh, CMMI and Six Sigma. So in this course, we will uh, uh, discuss both types of models. The quality definition models that we will discuss here include McCall's quality model, Bohem's quality model, FERPS, and ISO 9126. In this lecture, we will discuss each of these models. First, we discuss McCall's quality model. This is one of the most renowned models that was presented by Jim McCall. This was uh, actually originated from the U.S. military and was developed for the U.S. Air Force and promoted with within the U.S. Department of Defense and is in fact uh, primarily aimed towards 
the system developers and the system uh, development process. This model attempts to bridge the gap between the users and developers by focusing on several software quality factors that reflect both the user's views and the developer's priorities. The model has three major perspectives for de uh, defining and identifying the quality of a software product. And these pr uh, perspectives include product revision, that is uh, the ability to undergo changes. And the second perspective is product transition, that is uh, adaptability to new environments. And third perspective is product operations, that is uh, its operational characteristics. Here we discuss each of the perspectives of the McCall's model. So the first perspective that is a uh, product revision uh, includes maintainability, flexibility and testability. Uh, by maintainability, we mean that the effort required to locate and fix a fault in the program within its operating environment. Whereas uh, the flexibility means uh, the ease of making changes in the operating environment and uh, testability uh, refers to the ease of uh, testing the program to ensure that it is uh, error free and uh, meets its specifications. Then uh, the second perspective is uh, product transition. So product transition is um, uh, uh, that uh, that includes uh, uh, portability, reusability, and uh, interoperability. So uh, by portability, uh, we mean uh, the effort required to uh, transfer a program from one environment to an other environment, whereas uh, the reusability refers to uh, the ease of reusing software in a different context and interoperability uh, refers to the effort required to couple the system to an other software system. Then uh, the third perspective is uh, uh, product operations or a quality of product operations and um, uh, this in fact depends on uh, various characteristics such as uh, correctness, reliability, efficiency, integrity, and usability. So by correctness, uh, we mean uh, the, extent, uh, the extent to which uh, a program fulfills its specifications. Similarly, uh, reliability means the system's ability uh, not to fail. And by efficiency, we mean uh, that the like uh, 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 the execution efficiency and storage efficiency, and generally meaning the use of uh, resources. For example, processing uh, processor timer uh, uh, storage uh, consumption. Then uh, integrity, uh, that is the protection of the program from uh, unauthorized access and. Uh, usability that is uh, that refers to uh, the ease of use of the system uh, the figure on right which is also called mccall's quality triangle shows the three perspectives and the characteristics that are associated with each of these perspectives so the mccall's model details the three types of quality characteristics and that is uh, the major perspective that we uh, discussed in previous slide in a hierarchy of factors criteria and metrics into 11 factors 20, uh, 23 different criteria and some metrics so uh, the factors i just met, uh, the 11 factors uh, i just mentioned describe uh, the external view of the software as viewed by the users. Uh, the factors uh, in this figure are represented at the top of hierarchy. That is, as you can see, correctness, reliability, efficiency, integrity, usability, maintainability, testability, flexibility, portability, reusability, and 
uh, interoperability. Similarly, uh, 23 quality criteria that describe the internal view of the software as uh, uh, seen uh, by the developer are uh, depicted in this figure as well. The quality criteria uh, include traceability, completeness, consistency, accuracy, error tolerance, execution efficiency, storage efficiency, access control, access audit, operability, training, communicativeness, simplicity, conciseness, instrumentation, self-descriptiveness, expandability, generality, modularity, software system independence, machine independence, communication commonality, and data commonality. It is important to note that and, uh, no strict binding on the association of a certain criteria uh, with only one factor is here, as can be seen that the criteria consistency is associated with both the correctness and reliability factors. Similarly, there are several other examples that can be seen here. Then matrix. Matrix are uh, actually uh, defined and used to provide a scale and method for measurement. So in conclusion, the quality factors describe different types of system behavioral, uh, behavioral characteristics and the quality criterion are the attributes to one or more of the quality factors. The quality metric in turn, uh, in turn aims to capture some of the aspects of quality criteria. In the end, it is important to mention that the quality factors are attributes that have been presented in one model may be perceived differently in any other model. In fact, these models have been proposed for different contexts so you would see uh, their different arrangement in different models. So uh, that's all about uh, our discussion on McCall's quality models. In the next video of this lecture, we will discuss the remaining models. The materials in this video are based on the chapter titled Software Quality Models and philosophy. This chapter was published in the book Software Quality Attributes and Trade-offs. For more details, you can consult the book. Thank you.